All day, parents and children have been flocking to Sunny Bridges Acres, getting a close look at the animals that bring this farm to life. Some more friendly than others. <laughs> but amidst the fun at this farm, caution is rising as a highly contagious strain of bird flu spreads in farms across North America, including 16 flocks in Ontario since late March. My primary business is breeding chickens and ducks and geese, so it is a concern to me. But Nicole Winkle says she's taken steps to ensure the bird flu does not make its presence felt at her farm. We've taken down any wild bird feeders, so we're, and we don't have any wild waterfowl that come to the area. And it's not just wild birds that can bring in traces of the virus. Winkle says visitors of the human kind can bring in bacteria on their shoes, especially if they have their own flock at home or have come here from another farm. That would be a concern, but I did specifically say in our event, if you've been anywhere near wild waterfowl, to change your shoes. So we feel that the risk is relatively low here. We came out and we saw some chickens and we got to pet a bunny today. What was your favorite part, guys? Was it holding the bunnies? Yes. yes. Meanwhile, Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada says the food industry is making adjustments to maintain the supply of poultry and eggs, and so far, no human cases of the avian flu have been detected in Canada. <laughs> Sanjay Maru, CTV News.